Hi everybody, hi dear, you're Yorkshire Crafter. It's just took me about 10 minutes to get it to start recording that. When I, I put it in the grabber to grab the phone, it kept grabbing on some outside and kept turning it off or making it do other stuff. Oh, I'm here eventually. So how are we all doing? I'm going to say, well done everybody. Because by the time this goes out, I'm just going to move you a minute. There we go. By the time this goes out, we will be 4,000 subscribers. Yes. I don't class it as me. I class it as us because it is us. We did this. Because if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing it. And if it weren't for me, you wouldn't be watching it. So it's team. I love a bit of teamwork, mate. Right, so today's a bit of a um, test. We've done, I've done some of it. I, I want to try some different bits with it. I mean, I've done it many times before, but not with these dies that we're going to use. So we're making stamps. So what we're doing, I'll show you. These are all made from kids' foam. So all I've done is cut two sizes out. I already had these out because I'm doing something else with these. So that's why I cut them out. So I've just cut squares and hexagons. I've got circles, stars and everything out. But I thought I'll just cut them for you. And from the Spellbinders Club Blooms, this is January 23. I'm just using these and cutting them out. So I don't think you want to see me cut them out. But that's what they look like. So I'm, you're looking for dies that have got a bit of some kind of texture to them. Pardon me, I should stop drinking pop before I come on. That looks a bit squashed actually. I might do that one again. Unless it's just my eyes because it's white. All the rest of them I've been doing on yellow. And the, the um, ingrained bits stand out. Ingrained? Ingrained? Something like that. Let's just cut them out in yellow because I'm not. I bet it looks no different. Where's the other die gone? I don't need that one cut now. I've already got that. Don't want to lose any. That's my problem with dies. Right, I'm just going to cut these out. We've got a snoring Lexi with us today. Dog. Yeah, it must just be my eyes because I can just see it better on on the yellow. So say I have loads of this. Well, actually, I'm lying. The kids have loads of this. None of them come crafting, but that's what it's there for. Right. Put that to the side. Would you guys like to do me a favour and share the video to any platform? I'm not bothered where it gets shared to. Let's get seen a bit more. We deserve it. So I've cut them ones. I'll show you everything I've cut first. So this one is I'm trying to keep them all separate. Um, Curvy Leafs by Pinkfresh Studio. Oh, she's getting louder, I tell you. I'll just leave them on top. I don't ever use them ones yet. Like I say, we're just having a, a play. I've got another one here. Where's that from? Oh, that's from the same, same one. I thought I'd cut more than this. Then we've got this one. Um, oh, I did a snowflake and all. I've done all sorts today. How intricate that is and you can make it into a stamp. But the reason I'm not doing that one today is because I figured everybody's got snowflake stamps, haven't they? So it wouldn't look no no different. Um, I am definitely using that bit off there. So I'll put that there. We have got some more leaves. I thought we had, but I don't know where they're from because I don't know where the packet is. 
so I don't know which I'm using that's this is the thing we're deciding right what we need is some thin double-sided tape we also need I'm going to do a couple of them with the wet wipe um, technique so I'll put them at the side of us ready I only want two of them out I did it with six earlier on messing about and only two of them turned um, well I mean they all turned out okay just two of them that stood out to me so those are the two I'm gonna try and recreate I don't know where I've put them but I even cut these out they looked amazing well, where are they I'm not doing these either I just thought I'd show you oh there you look look how intricate they are and they look amazing stamped so they'll be put away for now right I'm using Nina Classic Crest 110 pound card we need some stamping platforms I've left this one on because I'm I'm definitely using this one so I just oh wow it keeps income for a while anyway right let's do the wet wipe first and I want what do I want I'm having a bit of purple this is a multicolored one can you see me doing that let me just move over a little bit if you haven't seen me do the wet wipe one before go back on my videos I've got a great tutorial for this it was really popular I'm using my reinkers distress oxide a bit of pink bit of yellow She's so loud, I'm so sorry. I know everybody says don't apologise for her, but gosh. A bit of yellow, squeezed lemonade, doesn't matter what colours you use. Just let that sit there a minute. Right, so this flower, we're going to be using it twice for two different techniques. By the way, I'm putting tape on here. I ain't got them spotless, but it comes off. You just use your alcohol and it comes off. So I'm just going to put two pieces on here. It's not often I use... Um, Double sided tape throughout. And because my table's crowded, I'm going to put everything in the bin as I go along. Right, so for this one, we're taking the, the big flower. Now, I'm keeping this handy because if I get any around the edge here, I want to wipe it off because I don't want it on my card. Right, let's see what kind of colour this gives. I wanted a bit of orange in it, but I don't have any orange. I'll tell you what I'm going to put in. A bit of mustard seed. Yeah, that's better. If I'd have thought on I wouldn't have used the yellow, I'd have just used the mustard seed. I don't have the orange reinkers yet. Right, I'll move this onto you so it's flat so that you can see it. And you're just stamping onto your ink. I am hoping, I'm going to stamp it off actually. Let me get a piece of scrap. I 
and make sure it stamps the way I want it. Oh no. That's it, it's coming in now. We'll go with that. Good job I didn't put it straight down, innit? I don't bother when I'm practicing because I just I learn from what I've done, so right, let's do it. Each one's gonna be cut down as well. So I just love that you can use your dies to stamp with. Just look at that. I've got one across here. Pardon me. It's leaked through, can you see it? It's gone right through. They're lovely colours, aren't they? I love this technique for everything, me. I'd do it all day if I could. You just never know what you're going to get. Let's see, dog. Right, I think I'm going to leave it there. And because we're going to be putting another flower on, I'm going to take that one straight off. It'll just go in bin now. I'm not taking the tape off, I'm just going to stick the other one straight on it. Ready to use for the next one. Right. So we want the leaf. So that's done. You could do loads, absolutely loads, because there's a lot of wasted ink there. In fact, I'm just putting it behind me because I might do some more after the video. I'll put that there because we're going to be doing another. I'll just move it out way. We'll do a few um, backgrounds and then we'll go from there. Right, I want... What do I want? For this one, let me see what... Ah, hmm. oh, and I've got to tell you, I mentioned on my video that I was going to buy the Distress Inks because I've got all the oxides. And somebody kindly donated me the light brand new. 27 when I counted. Might be a bit more, I can't remember. 27. That's crazy. So I'm going to do second generation. I'm so grateful. I'm not going to mention the name because she doesn't want me to mention the name, but I've thanked so many times. I don't know what to say. Yeah. So the next one that we'll do is very similar to it. So, I'm just showing you that, that you can do it with different inks on the next one. How cool is that? I just love that, what you can do. If I'm honest, this is not, um, I don't think I've ever used the dye as a dye. And do you know what? I'm gutted about. I've been getting rid of loads of stuff, haven't I? And I've got rid of dyes and stuff, and it hasn't crossed my mind what I normally do with them because I don't use them as dyes. I use them like this. Oh, I'm not buying them again though. Um, oh, let's go there. Right, that panel is finished. Now I'm gonna try. I'm going to try and clean this leaf. Because on the next one, that's the same, do it same thing. I just want a different colour. Let's see what happens here. I might get away with it, you know. Let's just try before. If not, I'll change it over now. That's perfect. It'll do exactly what I want it to do. Isn't that lovely? Just 
so cool. Right, I'm just going to quickly cut it down. I'm going to cut them as I go along and then we're not wasting the end. I'm just going to run it through the dye machine with my Master Layout 2. actually because if I'd have thought I mean I do sometimes this is the one with the stitched head head edge but if I'd have thought I could have put that central because the panel is um five and a half by four and a quarter if I'd have put that central I'd have had an edge in there and I would have put that on a card base and made some at the middle because there's no wrong with that. I'm kicking myself now. Just don't like waste. So I'll put that one to the side. I just think it's fantastic. I just love it. And we'll do another one. I've got a load of panels at the side of me. But I'll show you what I'm going to do with this one. We don't need that right now. So this one, we're doing yellow. Need two of these out. That's supposed to be yellow. It gets dirty. In fact, I'll start a new one. I'm just making sure it's yellow because... It did get a bit orange. Definitely need a refill for this, definitely. So I'm going to take, put it all over. But I'm going to take the orange and just dab it. The other one yellow just to soften the edges. I'm I'm not meaning to do it central, it just so happens that one's gone central. No, I want a bit more orange than that. I wanted it to be dark. So now I can fill this side in because I don't want it to be central. If you don't have some essential, you don't have to um, get it perfect each time, do you? So let's go with that. Same thing, I'm just stamping them same sort of place. So these are your permanent inks. Look, it's gorgeous. This is when I start losing the colour on me. Pad. It goes orange. Always goes back to normal. Gosh, she's loud. I don't know how you guys put up with it. You mustn't be able to hear her like I can. You could do many a different colour. You could do one in each one in each petal. Now there's an idea. I made a right mess doing these earlier. Not mistakes, just a mess. It looked like a bomber did it in here. They're quick and all, aren't they? You're not having to mess about. I love it. Seem to be liking a lot of lately, don't I? Liking my own work. Do you know what I bought myself? I didn't understand why people did it. So I hung off for a long, long time. I bought myself a journal. But again, 
didn't don't know why people did it or what they got out of it or anything but i've decided i mean it's not often i do artwork as such you know a design um a scene so i thought anytime i do a scene i always do two anyway then i've got one to give away i'm going to start doing three is what i meant one to give away one to put on my ebay like i do each time and one to wear my journal don't know what to do with the journal but yeah and it's my sister's birthday yesterday and it only turned up today so um she's getting one as well to put her artwork in i think she'll love it do you like the colors i could have chosen different colors couldn't i so it'd be a bit more different but i love them I love them, see? Orange. In fact, I'd go so far as to say the stunning. I know some one of you was um well a few of you picked up on me saying it. I used to say it all the time continuously. Kids used to take Mickey out of me. Right, I think this one is done but i'm just thinking if i'm going to make a panel out of it do i need a bit down in this corner or will a leaf do i think a leaf will do right so that's that one done now don't tell me you can't do that everybody can do that oh, all the stuff i've got cut here i'm going to be at it forever Even open it. I've had these a long, long time and all. I couldn't even tell you what they are, if they're oxides or what. I tell you, I've been cleaning out again. Oh, I've been cleaning out and do you know what I found? Another three. Crafter's Companion. My daughter only bought me 12 of those when she bought them. I'm sure there's about 50 I've had. I don't like them. It was me that asked for them. She didn't do it off her own back. Right, so we're going to do the same with the leaf. This time we're using Distress Ink. I tell you what's different and all. Using the Distress Ink, they're so much brighter than the oxides. So much brighter, it's unreal. So I've been enjoying that for the last couple of days, playing... This is a gorgeous colour. It's one of my favourite go-to Christmas colours. Um, it's not enough room there, is there? I might put the sentiment there. No. Oh, I don't know. leaving it I'm not that's okay right ooh decisions decisions right they used that looked like what we are going to do where's my other panel gone now then we're using this little one I know that's finished now, so let's take that leaf off there. Just wipe that ink off. See, that'll stick back on that. Oh, yeah. So, orange is not going to go in that one. Because I'm looking at the one that I did earlier, it's come out totally different colours. And this time, you're not going to see the orange, are you? Oh, no, it didn't stick. Look. Tell you what, let's use a bit of that. Right. 
Um, I'm going to try. Let's see what strawberry looks like. Is that going to be too in your face? I'm going to go strawberry. Let's have a look. There, it's all right, that. Oh, I kind of like that. And I've got some built-in orange um, bling that'll go in the middle of these. See what difference it makes just from doing that? It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a bit impressive, that, isn't it? Right, so I don't want to put red in the other one, do I? Gosh, that's lovely. Don't want to cut it down. Um, that won't look right with red in it, will it? Will it? Hmm. And it won't look right with orange. Where's that mustard yellow? Da -da 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 -da. Just looking down my colours, seeing which colour will go. Uh, what about... What about Lilac Bloom? Will that go? See if I can get some colour off it. Can always change it. We've got plenty. Yeah, I think that'll look all right. Oh, it's got more day. I'll have to do it though now. Oh, that's a shame. I'll sort it out with something bright in the middle. Doesn't look too bad where you can see the purple through it. I can sort that out, it's not a problem. Right, that one's done. I'm just going to cut this one down. One second. then that's just guesswork that let me just look at this this is just a vellum card well that's not getting wasted that's for sure love that they're brilliant so I'll put them to the side a minute and we're going to do another wet wipe. Then we'll do the squares and we'll make them into cards. So this one, I need to take that leaf, that flower off there. See, that it does... It should peel straight off. It will leave a sticky, there you go, residue, but um, just use your alcohol or even alcohol wipes or hand sanitizer and it comes straight off. That's left none at all. Right, so the colours for this one, I'm using Villainous Potion and Shaded lilac. Now 
Like I say, I'll, I'm going to, I'll use these, I'll carry on after. Well, Andy gets up at about quarter past eight, I'll carry on till then. Even if it's just making backgrounds. Well, by the time this goes out, I'll have done the live, but I need some panels for the lives. So that's what these extra panels will do. Seems a bit back to front, doesn't it? Because it'll have, I'll have already done it by the time you watch it. So if you watch the live, <laughs> you'll have seen these getting used. Right, that looks okay. I might put a bit darker in, I'll just check it first. In fact, I'll check it with this and just see how it's coming out. Yep, yeah, that's what I want. So I know I'm using this one and this is off the memory box leaf branches. I love doing all different stuff with leaves and if you saw me, one of the other videos, I, I cut them all in white, didn't I? And did them that way. I like using them for not what they're supposed to be for. I like different. I'll put another one in because it's a bit flimsy. Right, so there is a right way actually, and that's my right way. It's more stood up. I've got to tell you, if you're cutting the foam through your die cut machine, don't go backwards and forwards. If you go forwards and cut it like I've just done, that's your cut. If you come back, you're stretching the foam, it does stretch. Ask me how I know. No, don't. <laughs> right, I want that flat. I'm going to have to squish that on it. That'll be dirty then. Right. Let me just do me run it. Yeah. So I'm literally just... Everywhere. Oh no, it's going to do what I did before. Don't like these thicker ones. Well, it's not them actually, it's me. You should never blame your tools, should you? A craftsman should never blame the tools or something like that. Um, I try and just change the way a little bit. They look like blues, don't they? Well, they do to me anyway. Why does it keep picking that up? No wonder it gets everywhere. I just love what you can get with things when you do this technique. Nothing is ever the same. Look, I knew it. I knew I was going to do it. Doesn't matter, that's what bling's for, isn't it? That actually came off my thumb, did that? If I'd have used one of the big ones, it'd have been finished now, wouldn't it? I just like the look of this little one. I actually thought I'd have more control over it. Guess not. Oh, I might be able to hide that, you know. Huh? There you go. I'll just put it somewhere else now. Three more. We might actually do it without. Why did I say that? Mm. 
<laughs> it's been very nice weather today. Cold, but nice weather. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, we did it. Apart from that little bit. It's like wallpaper, isn't it? I love it. I'm just going to give it a wipe because when I come off, if I can get away with doing another colour without having to change it, I think I might. If I can get away with it. That's why it kept lifting up, it's sticking to the tape. Don't care. Right, leave that there. I'm just going to move this out of way and put the other one on it with what's behind me. wonder how long you could actually keep going with it until it runs out. It's cool, isn't it? Just cut it down. just ruined it look I forgot to wipe my thing I'll put a panel in and it's got marks on it that's all right I'm not going to rescue that because I don't like what it's done with that one but we can do this one I'm going to do it now what colors have we used Lilac. Don't know if this will work, but we're doing it. See if it rescues it. Bit of water. We may, that sort of looks like it belongs because it's round edges. We may get away with that. Let's see what happens with it. If not, it will be cut down and used as a tag. So I say no goes to waste. I'm a bit miffed that it's done it like, but we can be miffed and put up with it, can't we? Right. I'm just, where's me? Oh, I've just got paint on the background for it and all. Just wondering if we will get away with it. I've got one done, so I'll show you after, but yeah, we'll get away with it. I mean, you, you know, I always put a piece of scrap on top of it when I'm cutting and I didn't. 
Right. Let's get another pen. Well, I want to make three cards, and I don't think I'm going to be making that into one yet. Have I got another little square? This one will do. Let's do hexagon. And we also need little hexagon. Should have put them up. Oh, I can. That one there. Right, I haven't even thought about colours. So, let's just go. Should we do some at Manly? What have we got? Let's go. Let's go Arctic. Barley blue. Um... I'm just going to go with these. So I'm going to go big with the warm breeze. I'm just going to stamp it off to make sure it's okay. Oof. I'm going to do second generation, I think. No, I'm not. I'm going to stick with the normal. So we'll start here. That's me squashing it down too far, but it's going to be cut down. Let's go barley. I might not use the Arctic. Let's go barley. That's got an hole in it. So it's going to have a mark, but I like it. What about second? Yeah, could have done that. That would have looked all right. Yes, I like that. Shame about that all, but it is what it is. I could see lines where I'd put it down. Um, believe it or not. That's it. I'm just going to put one of these in, I think. And that will be our panel. That's it. That's our panel. That sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it is. Yeah, I want to come away from that. I'm going to cut it there. And I'm going to put a piece of scrap over it.
There you go. Still caught. I didn't put a big enough piece down. It's okay. Time my wheel. Right, I'm gonna quickly make them into cards. I'll do the circles and everything and you'll see them finished. I want you to see the finished cards because I think they just look fantastic. So I'm just going to stick this one on here. It'll look all right, won't it? Right, where's me? Made a load of cards before I came on. Bases. Keep running out. So you saw me doing these the other day. So I told you, you can't tell once it's stuck down, you can't tell. And you kind of don't put it on straight. It started off so well, didn't it? It all seems to be going out at window. Keeping them flat, I'm not forming them. Just touch that ink. It's cool, isn't it? Just something so simple. I, I, well, I just tell you. All right, let me keep some clean space while we put these together. I want you. I don't normally. Sometimes I'll say to you, "Oh, we'll do." I'll do it sentiments later or bling and what have you. But I want you to see them with sentiments on. That's pretty stunning, is that? With red in. Stunning. There you go again. I should have like a swear jar for every time I say stunning. By heck, can you imagine how much craft stuff I'd be able to buy? Be able to buy some stunning stuff. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> it's hard work when you're on your own. This is so pretty. Move it all this out of the way because I'm going to get the book for the sentiments. Where's the other one gone? Here we go. So we'll put them on these three. I love that. It needs a bit cutting off upside. I went a bit too far over. Not to worry. Put these inks out that way. This is brilliant. This is not my idea. I think this came from Jennifer McGuire's idea. So I just want a very simple one to go across the middle there. They're not supposed to fall out like that. 
when you put them in it's my fault for rushing and not getting them in properly um oh wait a minute does that go all right with that i don't know if it stands out enough I have to think about that one. See what else I've got. Yeah, when you put them in, you need to push in between every, like you would with a photo. So it's just a normal photo album. And then they stick. Rosie's hair's in there. I prefer this too. I want this. That's going on one of them. Oh. Now then, I like that. Oh, I might have to cut some more of them out. Let's see what else we've got. That's from A Little Hello by Gina K. That. And she's got um, a little love. A little hello. Uh I don't have many in here yet. It's not quite, it's too big. You are the best I want out. You are so lovely, I want out. I'm going to do a load more of these. I think they're brilliant. Shine bright. That'd look nice on that one, wouldn't it? No, I'm sticking with that. I like that. I've got loads ready to go in. Loads. Did a load of these the other day. And they're already stacked up. Um, I'll stick with what we've got. And we'll get these on. I might have time to bling them. So what we're going to go with, hello, hmm, where's the other one gone? Ah. You're the best, I'm putting that one on there I think. That's what I'm doing. Seems to be hiding a lot of that though, doesn't it? We're doing it. I'm real pleased with how they've come out. But I'm, I'm that person because I've got all these already cut and everything. I've got to use them now. So I'm going to be up here all night. It's a shame to cover it up, isn't it? Don't go on there. It's it's just the I'm going here. I'm going there. It is right way up, isn't it? Oh, it's not either. Ah! Well done. Now we are going there. Luckily, it dries clear as the glue. Put my weight on it. And then these. I'm just putting a bit of foam behind them. It's 
seems ages since I've foamed out. I love it. Doing two at a time because all my thick ones I'd have to open a new set to get them out and I don't want to I've got loads of half open sets of these strips four thousand subscribers can you believe it I tell you I get blown away every day by how far it's how far it's come I know it was something I always wanted to do, but I didn't dream it'd ever be. I mean, this isn't big to some people, but it's massive to me. And even though I haven't met people, I feel like I've met some lovely people, if that makes sense. These come straight off so they're all right. I haven't been able to get my hands clean today. Almost there. I want to show you that leaf one. Good job I did one earlier to show you what it actually does look like. I am literally just guessing and dropping. Looks good to me. So get your die cuts out, look for the quite simple ones, I mean the intricate ones are great, the snowflake was amazing, and them trees, they look lovely, I need to think of another way to do them though, not just stamp them and leave them, to the side, oh yeah I'm going to do that. straight it is now so there you go we've got them three that was super quick wasn't it none of them took a long time really but yeah this is your leaf one and i used one of these look how well it turned out i love it went off there so there you go i'm going to bling them up now um these were some other bits that I tried. I didn't like that because it went overcrowded. That was um, wet wipe, but Andy didn't like colours. He says it looked like it's all gone wrong. So it's supposed to look like that. That was the other one. That See how they look totally different? Same colours used. Prefer this one though. Oh yeah, put in a green base as well. And that one, again, totally different. Put red in the middle instead of orange. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Right, oh, and there's the one that we splattered on, and I think it's fine now. So, yes, that'll go onto a, a card base. Right, I'm off, guys, and I'll catch you later. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.